This is an ECG recorded from a patient with chest pain. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 66 beats per minute. The rhythm is normal sinus rhythm with a P wave present before each QRS complex and every QRS complex preceded by a P wave. The axis is normal, with an upright complex in lead 1 and lead 2. The PR interval is normal, measuring 4 small squares. And a QRS complex is normal in duration, measuring 3 small squares. There are no pathological Q waves present on this ECG. There is a small Q wave present in lead 1, but it's small enough to be disregarded. There is ST segment elevation present in leads 2, 3, AVF, V4, V5, and V6. There is ST segment depression present in leads V1, V2, and V3. There is T wave inversion in lead V1, and a biphasic T wave in lead V2 and V3. There is also T wave inversion in lead AVL. In summary, this ECG recorded from a patient with chest pain shows ST segment elevation in the inferior and lateral leads and ST segment depression in the anterior leads. It therefore shows an inferior lateral ST segment elevation myocardial infarction, an infralateral STEMI. It's possible that the deep horizontal ST segment depression present in the anterior leads, associated with T wave changes and a dominant R wave in V3, represents posterior extension of the myocardial infarction. Posteriorly placed leads, i.e. a V7 and V8, may confirm this. Either way, the patient needs an emergency PCI.